Building home labs, we go all in. Networks and rack servers, that's our thing. Core computing, we're in the zone. Creating a future we can call our own. Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to this video. I'm making this video in regards to some of the comments that uh, I've received on the channel about the Lenovo Y700 firmware. Um, and I'll go through some of the comments as well just to point out some of the reasons why I switched to the global firmware. You might also notice that the uh, microphones uh, are a lot better in this video. I did actually uh, invest in a lav mic and that's upgraded so even though I can hear all the fans running from the servers hopefully you can which is good because I think in the last few videos it's it's all the server fans um, also I've had some comments about uh, people asking me you know where to find these deals so I've set up below two groups one of them is on discord one of them is on Facebook um, I tend to use Facebook more, so I, I know I'll be posting there a lot more. But often I come across fantastic deals for servers and uh, things for home lab, stuff to just get started with self-hosting. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is post them in that group. Uh, there's a couple at the minute that I've actually spotted already, um, but my rack is now full. I don't have any room in the rack at all. Uh, I've actually got to take one of the servers out that's a for you server and put in two one new servers uh, i mean technically i could fit three but to keep it nice and evenly spaced i'm just going to put two um so that'll be a conversion that'll be coming later on uh, this month so let's let's go over the global firmware so originally when i bought the y700 it was it had the Chinese firmware on it now I did do some research before I bought it asking you know some questions and just looking at some forums to see if it was possible and people said yeah it is possible one of the comments that I had um, said that the global firmware is crap I completely disagree and these are probably my reasons why the Chinese firmware that comes with it, even though you can get certain apps in English and things like that, there's still most of the menus were still in Chinese. The main settings menu wasn't, but when you did, um, for example, the Chinese firmware, when you did like a swipe down or swipe up for the search bar, this would have been Chinese. The other comment that I had was about um, beast mode. So I'm just going to show you beast mode does fully work. That's beast mode on, beast mode off. You can see the overclock settings are being applied there. I've never had any problems with it. It works fine. Um, also, okay, so this is the guide. And uh, since I've had a few comments that have actually asked me to do a bit of a walkthrough, I will do this walkthrough. Um, the first part of this guide explains about the version info. What it kind of says is if you switch to the global firmware, you can't then roll back to a certain version. Um, it, it will stop you rolling back to it. it. It does go into detail saying that if you unlock the bootloader, it, this is when you unlock the bootloader. So we are not going to unlock the bootloader. The reason why you don't need to for Lenovo, this is an official Lenovo firmware. You don't need to unlock the bootloader. I didn't with mine and lots of other people have done the same. And I'll kind of show you it on this video. So mine already has the global firmware. But I'm going to go as far as I can with it. Let me just turn this one down for now. Okay, so it says go to uh, this link and click the smart assistant to download it. So while that's downloading on my crappy connection at the minute. Um, so you'll need to have a Lenovo account as well to log in. 
and um, usually it's the same as your Google, but it could be different. Again, I can't wait for this 500, um, well, it's gigabit uh, fiber connection to come. I just can't wait for it. This would have been done in five seconds, if that. Um, but this is some of the limitations of VDSL. So what you'll what you will need now that this is installed is a USB C cable that does data. So this is just um, a Goodman's USB C cable that does data. It's a USB three. So usually if it's a USB three, it will do data as well. Um, that's kind of one way of knowing. And we'll launch the program. So this is where you will sign in. So for me, I use Google, so I'll do my Google sign in. Okay, so now everything is updated. Uh, we're gonna go to rescue, we're on the rescue tab, we'll go to device. Now this is where you will input your serial number. The serial number you will find on the back of the tablet. So in, in the guide, it says to go to tablet, which we've done, then you can put anything in the serial number. So he's put A11111 because we wanna get past that and do select model from list. So we'll go to that in a second and he's put Legion tab, Lenovo Legion tab. So we'll go back to this and do, just wait for it to catch up. So it's popped up there, the Lenovo Legion tab, which we'll click. And it says download the um, RO file. So we're gonna go confirm. So the tab we're looking for is TB320FC. We're gonna go confirm. And then we'll click rescue, proceed continue to the rescue software update it's saying is your personal data backed up because it will wipe everything um, any existing google accounts on this device will be removed for security and anti-theft purposes so it will wipe everything and that's what we want so once we click proceed it will say do you want to do a software update yes we do uh, make sure your device is powered off and then connected to the pc so we're going to power off the device by holding the power down, do power off. And then what we need to do is put it into rescue mode. So we've not clicked anything yet. We've, we've just turned off the device and we're waiting at this screen for, to put it into rescue mode. Um, it's saying to scenario one, the power, it's powered off. Um, okay, so this is the bit where we connect it to the computer and it says um, what we will need to do is hold the volume up and connect the cable to the side USB part. So I'll hold the volume up like this. And then what you would do, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wipe my data, is you would connect this to the, um, to the tablet with the volume up. Into the side there. And it will start the rescue process going. And then once it's done, it will reboot itself. So you just click OK and it will do a natural reboot. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's done. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to do the rescue because I've already done it and I don't want to wipe my data. I've got all my games and stuff on here. But it is relatively straightforward. What I've done below is actually set up a um, Facebook group and a Discord group for anyone that needs any help or support, if you need any help guiding through it or you're stuck, um, anything like that, then please shoot me a question. What will also be on 
uh, in these group is some of the servers that I find and uh, some of the deals that are going on. So I'm trying to create a community that of people who do self-hosting and, and tablets and things like that, try and get everyone together and uh, get a good group going. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you need any help and support, please, the links are below. I hope you like the upgrade in the microphones. Um, it mu hopefully sounds much better. Set the stage, gotta build the hype Cold computing on the mic We gonna take flight From the ground up We make dreams come true Home labs rise